Shelby Farms Park is annual holiday light show and its rangers all served as inspiration for a new children's book. Author Nicole Hughes and illustrator Marthia Sway teamed up to bring readers Park Pals and the grand opening of Starry Nights. Nicole and Marthia are here with us this morning to talk about the project and how it's going to benefit the park and the Green Line. So welcome to Live at Nine. Good morning. Oh my God. Okay, how did this all start, Nicole? Well, my sister is actually the events manager of Starry Nights, and she came to me with this project idea that the park came up with, and I am a playwright. Normally, I'm writing scripts, and she's like, do you want to write a children's book? I'm like, wow. absolutely. Yeah. So this is, I mean, do you, is it, you're like, I've written a children's book. I mean, that's pretty amazing. It is. And so, if you could tell me about your involvement, how you got uh, pulled into it, um, same way, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Courtney, uh, her sister, uh, called me because we used to work at the Memphis Redbirds together. Ah, so boom. I did graphic design mm -hmm. for Memphis Redbirds, but I started doing my stuff on my own, illustration on my own, and she asked me, did I want to come in? And she uh, let me read the script and see, the, see um, what they had planned. I was like, yeah, man, because I love Disney. So Who old does? school Disney, <laughs> so the little golden books and oh, stuff too. Oh yeah. wow, way back in the day. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. When it looked like it was like on a projector. Yeah, right? okay. I love that. I love that. So you know, I was I jumped at the opportunity. You know. That's amazing. So tell me about the story and what we're gonna see in the book. Yeah, so it's called Park Pals and the Grand Opening of Starry Night. So we meet meet nine new park pals, mm -hmm. and they show us each different park pal has created a Starry Night light display. Mm -hmm. So they introduce us to the different light displays as we tour through, and we do meet one park pal who's a oh, little grumpy. They're like moose. <laughs> like, like, are these, wait, are, are these the bison? Yeah. Those are the they're buffalo. The, they're the, the buffalo. buffalo. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, uh, yeah, I said moose. We have bison. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not, they're buffalo. They're buffalo. We have Beale and Bella the buffalo. <gasps> Beale. Uh huh. Makes sense. And Don the deer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we see deer, and we're trying to avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is a very firm book. It's a very <laughs> firm book. Um, so, how did you come up with the characters? Yeah. And, you know. So we actually worked with the park rangers who work with these animals at the park every day. So Stop. yeah, they let us know which animals are at the park. And then from there, I used alliteration to create their names. Oh, and yeah, so wow. As we tour through Starry Nights, we actually meet one grumpy character named Grumps the Goose who tries to stop Starry Nights. Is this Grumps the Goose? No, that no. is Henry the Heron. Okay. <laughs> I, I need to meet Grumps. There has to be a grumpy character <laughs> right. in every Disney. So, I mean, this is beautiful. Talk to me about um, what you used for this. Is it like watercolor? Um, like no, what? I actually used, um, I started out with pencil and paper doing all the illustrations on pencil and paper. And then once they were approved and stuff like that, I actually started doing everything. That's Grumps. <laughs> I found Grumps. <laughs> it was very clear as soon as I saw Grumps. It's very upset. Plus, I got a chance can, to... Can you out there guess who Grumps is? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I got a chance to be able to act out all those parts. So I'm sure you have. There's pictures of no, me I'm, doing. I'm, I don't grumps. think you're. You don't seem grumpy at I'm all. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're very light heart, Yeah. But yeah, I used. I used. Um, I drew it all digitally, and then um, used uh, fresco to be able to go in and do like a lot of the coloring. It's essentially doing everything. Um, we had such a small time frame, so it's kind of doing long? everything. It's like four, four months. months? Wow. Start to finish. Oh, this is a lifetime for me. Like, I mean, it just, just seems like it would be like, oh, I'm going to start this when I'm five, and then like I'm going to be 90. Um, can you just talk about um, is there a possibly a coloring book in the works? Because I immediately want to color this myself. I I'm a child. If you didn't. Know. Hey, that would be real cool. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be down for that. Let's we had coloring talk to your sheets sister. at the. Oh, I know. We right. had, we had coloring sheets at the. Um, at the um, the the reading, there's and a unicorn. Cool. I'm also getting Cinderella. Oh, these are the Starry Nights the lights, light. and yep. that's coming up. That event's uh, coming up. Yep. yep, it's opened. Starry oh, Nights open. is oh. now open okay. as of Friday. That's right. They open up right yeah. after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a real yep. life. There's Beale the buffalo, Beale. not a moose. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, how can people get the book? And mm -hmm. uh, you know. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you can go get it at the park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or online. 
Okay. It's also at Novel also Bookstore. Novel. Yeah. Of yeah. course it is. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. I am literally obsessed with grumps. Okay. All right. Um, thank <laughs> you so much for bringing your art to our community because what this does is, you know, people visiting, mm -hmm. they, the, the kids can always want to come back and then it becomes part of their story. So right. this is, children's books are so, oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you coming by. And um, congratulations. Thank you.